Remember how when Love Island All Stars was on, I complained like a grumpy old man about the fact that Georgia Harrison never spoke on the show about her dreadful experience with Stephen Bear, which would account for why she was apprehensive about starting a relationship in the villa with a man and apprehensive about relationships with men in general of the romantic sort. I thought she chose not to talk about it on the show because that was her choice. Fine, she's entitled to do that. But now I'm wondering if it was something else because it seems she's decided now to talk about it on her friend Olivia Atwood's podcast show thing. You had a really heavy couple of years. You took Stephen Bear, your ex-boyfriend, to court mm -hmm. for revenge porn. How does it feel to come back to the UK knowing that he is out? It's difficult to have people in when you've had a breakup, let alone what you experienced. Now again, she has a choice. She doesn't have to talk about it on Love Island All Stars. But I do wonder now whether it was actually the producers who told her not to talk about it so they could carry on perpetuating this bizarre Love Island fluff life kind of weird idea that when we're on Love Island nothing bad happens that is kind of any more than very very shallow stuff and maybe that was the reason why, I don't know. But it seems rather odd that now she's out of the villa she'd go on, you know, a public forum and talk about it when when I raised it, a lot of people were saying, well, maybe she doesn't want to talk about it publicly, which is exactly what she's doing. Um, there we go. Never mind, eh? Anyway, listen. She did a public appearance last night in Durham, and people came out for her and Anton. I'll give them that. <laughs> If you look at that footage in slow motion, right at the back of the room you'll actually see me waving. Waving like a, like a crazy mad female fan of the Beatles of yesteryear because I'm seeing Georgia H and Anton. That's not true, I just want to see if anyone will be bothered to rewind this video and go over that footage. Hey listen, I don't blame these guys for doing public appearances, getting the money while they can because they know full well that one day the money will dry up, the appearances will no longer be required, etc, etc. So you know, hey, Give him credit. Now it's time for a commercial break, courtesy of Anton. Steps for the car. Salted. <laughs> Look inside it. Look inside it. Wait till you see what's inside it. Why is it so <laughs> 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 Neighbors took that in. Oh, I mean, I was like, it's popcorn, I think. <laughs> 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 oh, my God. Are you taking the pit? <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> look, look at the front. <laughs> so I can... What are you trying just, to Just in case, just in case you mess me. Like, if you ever mess me. No, turn it the other way. Wait, have you seen what's on the front? <laughs> just in case you mess me. <laughs> yes, here he is, making his girlfriend advertise his popcorn. You know what, though, right? i got to give George H some credit, because she doesn't take out the popcorn and laugh at him and say this is ridiculous. She says she likes it and you know, let's be, let's give us some dues there. She is being nice to Anton. I have to say, there's a lot of footage of them on Instagram if you see it and they do seem to be being perfectly nice to each other. So it is what it is, um, you know. I, again, maybe they'll prove the naysayers wrong, but at least they're doing something as I always say. And we had Tom and Molly out this week. They seem to be doing all the podcasts. There's another podcast coming out with them later on today, shortly after this video comes out. And yeah, Molly is clarifying once again that her and Callum are not getting back together. It's just when, if you were in the villa, seeing it 24-7, there was no inkling of that. There was no vibe. There was nothing that could have given the impression of that. So we were all pretty shocked about that. So to come out and it still be like this big thing, it's a little bit like, oh. They also did the Wednesday podcast, and this clip from it has been going semi-viral, in which we find out that Georgia Steele wasn't really telling the truth about her history with Tom. Her history with Tom lasted a very brief 48 hours. Tom, yeah. you had history with yeah. Georgia Steele. Yeah. That's like a How quite did that having history with history. someone. Oh my god, it was, wasn't it? It really was. Because yeah. there was quite a lot of history going on. <laughs> How did that, because obviously we saw one thing, I know there's a lot of editing that goes on, like what was it, the situation in the villa for you guys? Um, I think obviously I, I probably, 
I think I must have seen George for about two days out the villa, like before. Is that it? So much history. Yeah. So it's. I, Wait, I, what do you mean? Shut. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I weren't like we weren't like seeing each other. I, think I, I thought you were dating. I thought you know, That's yeah. what I thought. Because you did drive up with no phone. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I did do that. Brody like, oh. yeah, <laughs> She's like. I no up, phone I and a piece of paper, paper and he knocks on all the doors to find the right one. What, say that again? Yeah. That's what she said, you knocked on all the doors to find Wait, where were you at with the piece of paper with <laughs> Wait, her address? Wait, did I miss I did not knock on nobody's yeah. door. Yeah, she Shit. said you were knocking on doors to find her. I knocked on no one's door. Wait, I thought you went up, you had no phone, you got her address and yeah, then you drove. No, I, so I, I, I was on a trip in Mallorca, ended up dropping my phone in the sea. Long story. I had a number on a piece of paper and I ended up driving up um to york and yeah we only saw each other for, for about two days um but yeah i won't class it as, as history no, or that anything not like either. that we weren't we weren't dating like or anything that's like, that. like not even what that's like literally like i had a, a like one night yeah. with someone so like, people say history i'm there i'm like yeah, is it it was kind of really differently to us girls Go on, then. no she just made it a little different i think she made it sound a little bit more of a of a thing right and yeah. then she did say that you were knocking on doors to find yeah well that's not true that's hilarious yeah. oh my god quite romantic if you were but i know i was, yeah. I was thinking oh I, I was thinking god he's had it like molly has turned said because you to me yeah. it didn't look like you were interested in georgia at all i think it yeah. came across oh uh, you were gun but what is good apparently is ekin sue is going to be on Celebrity Big Brother. We have a picture here of the alleged lineup. I'm going to say alleged because this was supposedly leaked by The Sun. I don't trust The Sun. And when they say supposedly leaked, I mean, you know, I think it's a soft launch to see how the public react to the current lineup. And if there's any terrible, terrible objections, they'll probably change one or two people. But Ekin Sue is there. So she's going to be in the Celebrity Big Brother house. And as you know, Celebrity Big Brother starts on Monday, joined by Louis Walsh. Joined by a few other people. Joined by ZZ Mills, who's also someone who occasionally appears on some of the Love Island related shows and debates and all that kind of stuff. I think should be very interesting in the Celebrity Brother house. I think it's likely that there will be some clashes and I think it's going to be interesting TV because Ekin Sue is very opinionated. Uh, ZZ Mills is also very opinionated. And I think there may be some topics of conversation that they will have which could spill out into rather entertaining TV. We shall see. I will probably do a separate video on that when we actually have confirmation that this is genuinely the lineup and not, you know, going to be fiddled with anymore. But there we go, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, catching up with Love Island practically every day this week. It was not my intention, but I've done it all against my will and I've loathed every second of it. So thank you for watching and have a lovely Thursday.